asteroid twice the size of the Statue of Liberty is set to fly by our Earth. It's twice the size of the Statue of Liberty set to fly this week. This is uh, what NASA is confirming to us. It's a gigantic space rock. It's called 220 PM7. 220 because it was discovered this year. It's up to 600 feet long, 200 meters, making it more than twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. which looms over New York City, and according to NASA, the asteroid will fly past our planet in two days, September 29. Observations revealed this gigantic rock is hurtling towards our Earth's orbit at staggering speed of 8.3 kilometers per hour. That's 29,880 kilometers per hour, which at that speed could complete a full circle of the Earth in about an hour. But NASA confirms the space rock will zoom safely by us at a distance of more than 2.8 million kilometers, it's about 7.5 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. But it's close enough for NASA to consider this as a near-Earth object. Now, asteroid facts. NASA estimates that a football field-sized asteroid collides with our planet once every 2,000 years or so. A car-sized asteroid hits the Earth on average at least once a year. Some of the bigger space rocks in the asteroid belt can be as large as 583 miles across. It's almost like a small planet. And as icy comets fly around the solar system, their outer layers sublimate in the sun's heat and leave behind a glowing trail. Near-Earth objects are space rocks coming into Earth's orbit of the sun diverted from path by one of the solar system's other planets. And these close approaches give, it, give NASA the perfect opportunity to study the history of our solar system. Well, of course, what's beneficial for us is to know what's coming at us. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have any way of mitigating these things. NASA explains on the website, NEOs, near-Earth objects, are comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter Earth's neighborhood and composed mostly of water, ice, with embedded dust particles, comets originally formed in the cold outer planetary system while most of the rocky asteroids formed in the warmer inner solar systems between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The scientists' interest in comets and asteroids due to their status as the relatively unchanged remnant debris from the solar system formation about four and a half billion years ago. And the giant outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, formed from an agglomeration of billions of comets, and the leftover bits and pieces from this formation process are, they say, what the comets we see today, that's their theory. Likewise, today's asteroids are the bits and pieces left over from the initial agglomeration of inner planets that include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And as the primitive leftover building blocks of the solar system formation process, comets and asteroids are for clues to chemical mixture from which the planets formed about 4.6 billion years ago. And if we wish to know the composition of a primordial mixture from which the planets formed, then we must determine the chemical constitu constituents of leftover debris from the formation and comets. These are the comets and the asteroids. And uh, this is what will be coming at us in two days, something twice as big as the Statue of Liberty. And we'll be having another 21 asteroids by October 2nd, from what uh, one of the previous articles I read a couple of uh, videos back. This is by Sean Martin of Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.